Hi guys, in today's video I will show you a few ways how we can uh, install or change GTA Y City cars or other vehicles. So first you will need these three uh, files. Uh, the three of them will be in the description so you can download it. Uh, now let's start with uh, GTA Mod Loader. Open it up. I have here a few models that I'm gonna test. Now open this. Continue. Next. I want to see for your file. Here you should choose the install directory of the GTA Y City. I already have it selected. And here you should choose the model you want to install. In my case it's GTA 5 Bravado. Here. Next, the model name is Washing, so Washington. Next, yes, I'm gonna name it. Let's say it's this is. Now we should replace this with uh, let's go in uh, YCT go to uh, data now we should find default uh, IDE so I'm gonna edit it with notepad plus plus you can open open it with normal notepad it can work and you should find the Washington so so here it is, line 203, I'm gonna copy this whole line and paste it here. So I'm gonna press next, I'm gonna save the backup, like I'll name it this. Next. Now let's test if the if this worked. Just to check this out, let's open the image up. So uh, this car should be in the game now, and let's see. You want to talk business? As you can see, the first one worked. On to the next. Okay, this is it now. Uh, for this one, you will need the next next loader. Open it up after you download it from the description. So go go to install directory of the game. Extract these two files in here. Okay. Now go to MLV vehicles. And copy this uh, to know which files you should put in here. Now, uh, first open the mod. First, uh, they should have the description on the page we are downloading the models from. There, they will say if the model is for this specific loader. So, if you want to know 
if it is or not just open it up if it will have core file tfftxt and xml file then it's for Mahos vehicle loader I don't know how to say it so I'm gonna say it like that so copy it in here in short and that's it so to repeat you just have to put these files in install directory of the game go to MLV and put any vehicles of this mod uh, loader in here so let's play the game and let's see if it worked and this is uh, way easier because you can spawn the cars yourself <laughs> Spawn it using Alt and 3. I'm pressing Alt. Do you like butting heads with me? As you can see, it's spawned. Stop right now! the next one now you just have to use txt workshop this is the easiest you just have to replace the original files with the new one so I have here the uh, bike I think yeah it's bike normal bike so I'm gonna extract those two files in here onto the desktop uh, I already have text workshop on the desktop, so I'm gonna open it up. Press open IMG. Go to this. Go to install directory of the game. Go to models. Open up GTA 3. IMG. Now search the name of the file in here. Now txt replace go to desktop choose the txt file press open after clicking on it again you will see that it's replaced now press dot d now we're gonna we are on the dff file do the same replace but this time with dff file so press open and that's it can press this but it doesn't matter it's already changed I'm gonna play the game now to test these two I'm not gonna load because the bike is at the start of the game so I'm gonna start a new game I poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. So, you just so normal here, I'm gonna... You think I don't know that? I'm gonna see you when I find it.
Okay, that was it. If this video was helpful, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Comment down if you have anything to say or uh, if you have any suggestions or questions of course and see you in the next one.